Measuring blood pressure is so a 20th century. When I visit my primary care physician, I bring my genome sequencing report and deep sleep analysis. What does she have to do first? Measure my blood pressure with an inflatable air bladder cuff that she pumps up by hand. Such an old technology that we probably all have memories from our childhood when our grandparents were using it and we were just wondering what the device might be. But unfortunately, as we grew up, this particular device stayed almost exactly the same for a long time. Then came blood pressure cuffs that you can wear on your wrist, which was more comfortable to use and you only had to lift your arm to get an accurate reading. And then Omron came up with the first ever smartwatch that claimed to measure blood pressure. But it was a big enough watch to accidentally knock someone out with, so not exactly comfortable for the average user. A small upgrade here and there, and recently we got quicker and quieter devices, but the top-to-bottom modernization seemed to lag behind. It's a Swiss startup's new tech that finally marks the arrival of the long-overdue breakthrough. The heart of their idea was to design a bracelet that's small enough to be comfortable all day while staying accurate, to be able to continuously monitor a person's blood pressure. Their device uses an optical sensor, meaning there is no need for an air pump, it doesn't measure pressure. It uses a pulse wave analysis and can derive precise blood pressure signals from it. I honestly thought that that's the future of blood pressure measuring. But other companies even go further and develop nanoscale pressure sensors that eavesdrop to the pressure pulsations inside the radial artery, which is claimed to be an even more accurate method. The takeaway is this. We are finally going to leave behind the regular cough and pump. There is no need for that ritualistic routine of measuring. Now that we can make accurate yet small sensors, the future indeed belongs to continuous measurement through smartwatches and bracelets. And think about the implications. These devices will revolutionize how high blood pressure gets diagnosed, treated and monitored. There's an estimated 1.1 billion people worldwide who live with hypertension now. And if we embrace these new monitors, high blood pressure will not be a randomly discovered diagnosis, but a well-known condition. And with more data than ever, we will beat it to the punch and be able to prevent any complications. Now that's a 21st century solution. If you like this video, please subscribe below and don't forget to tap the notification bell too, so you will get notified about all new videos. Thank you.